Hey guys, what's up? It's Biscuit Boo Horror Reviews, and I'm here with a review of a new short animated horror film from director Jimmy Screamer Claus, who is probably most well known at this point for his first feature film, Where the Dead Go to Die, which was a very depressing, disturbing, uh, uncomfortable, creepy, but also very poorly animated and acted uh, film that I personally think is, is pretty interesting. Um, I mean, I own it, so, you know, I have a copy of it, so that says something about it. Um, you know, I do actually quite like that movie. It's not necessarily good, but it's kind of not trying to be. It's, it's an interesting film nonetheless. He went on to direct a second feature film a few years back, which was one of my favorite movies from that year. I'm talking about When Blackbirds Fly. I have the limited edition VHS of it sitting right here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, he made these himself. Either way, um, I own quite a few of his movies, you know, I mean, I have When Black Birds Fly on DVD as well, I have Reality Bleed through his first unreleased feature film, um, unlimited edition release of that. I'm a fan of his work, so when I heard he was working on a new short film, I knew right away I would have to, um, at least try to review it, because... If there's something you gotta know about his short films is they usually are very quick and just kind of to the point with what they're trying to do. Um, unlike his features which, you know, try to actually tell a story. Um, whether or not that story is of substance or means anything is really up to the viewer. Because I've heard people say that, you know, Where the Dead Go to Die is this brilliant movie. Either way, I'm fucking rambling. I'm talking about his new short film, The Scuzzies. This is a movie that started off as a render test for his animation software, and it quickly turned into a 15 minute long short. So, what's up with this new movie? Well, it's kind of hard to piece together the plot, but it's kind of about these little, like, troll pest creatures, um, that I'm assuming are the titular scuzzies, and they live in this weird nightmare world where they live in fear of the owner of the house um, that they inhabit. <coughs> oh, God. Now, compared to um, James's earlier work, specifically Where the Dead Goes to Die, you, there's some serious growth in terms of animation quality. Um, and that's something you notice when you look at that film and When Blackbirds Fly. You notice that, that the quality of animation is, has gone up quite a bit. And the same can be said here, except this is like, act I, I, I almost want to say this movie is well animated. You know, like, trust me, I love When Blackbirds Fly, and I love Where the Dead Go to Die. I really like those movies. But those movies aren't necessarily well animated. This film is actually pretty damn good when it comes to the animation. Um, when you consider, you know, that it was just made by this guy who literally does this in his basement uh, in his free time. Um, the voice acting in the movie, is, in this short film, is um, good for the most part. Um, there isn't a lot of actual dialogue, uh, but what there is of voice acting is, is well done, and uh, you can tell that's similar to When Blackbirds Fly, James actually cared about this project and really wanted it to be of some level of quality. Not saying that Where the Dead Go to Die isn't uh, something he cared about and worked hard on, because it was, but this specifically, like, it does not have that kind of almost unintentionally comedic um, kind of dark comedy tone, although this one kind of does at the same time. Um, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Um, it's, this film has got to be one of the most visually uh, interesting and amazing films I've seen so far this year. Um, if I try to think off the top of my head, the only other movie I could think of that I've seen so far this year is that that can maybe you know match this in terms of great visuals is Climax, but Climax is a very very different movie from this. Um, 
uh, as far as plot and weird atmos in the atmosphere of this film goes, it's this weird. It like uh, like the plot is 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 kind of. I don't want to say it's not there because it's there, but the movie just. Oof, it's got a really, really bizarre atmosphere that is equal parts absurdist comedy and equal parts pure fucking nightmare. All this being said, I would totally recommend this movie to anybody who's a fan of um, Screamer Claus's work. Uh, you know, and I also would like to recommend this to anybody who... Um, didn't like or absolutely hated his first film, Where the Dead Go to Die, because this shows major growth, and you kind of can't deny that. Um, and again, this movie is a short film. It runs for 15 minutes. You're, you're not wasting that much of your time on it. This movie has been uploaded to um, Screamer Claus's official YouTube channel. Um, it's censored due to some nudity featured in the film, but if you want to see the uncut version of the film, um, you can get a digital download of it off of his website, or if you purchase a um, poster for the film off his website, or um, stickers off the film for the film off his website, you will get a digital download of the film included in your purchase. Um, and I would highly recommend doing that uh, because, you know, Screamer Claus, he's doing some stuff, whether or not it's necessarily. Um, of quality compared to Pixar is, is kind of, you know, out of the question, but the man's got passion and definitely talent, um, and definitely imagination. This is probably his best work yet. Um, I still prefer his, fil his feature films, definitely, but I would probably have to give this the same, around the same rating I gave, um, both Where the Dead Go to Die and when, actually when Blackbirds Fly rated higher, but I'm going to give this movie like a, a 4 out of 5. 8 out of 10, this is, this is a really interesting short, and um, again, it's a fucking short film, um, so yeah. I, I will put some links in the description um, for the censored version of it on YouTube as well as his website where you can find the uncut version of the film but anyway guys that's all for now this is biscuit boo horror reviews signing off peace